Hello and welcome to the Chilled Cardano podcast. I am Ill Noise and I'm here with Chilled Cardano on Twitter. How are you doing today, sir? Good, Eric. It's Friday. I'm going to have a gender reveal party tomorrow. So, no, you're not here, but you're going to be able to make find your out. predictions in the comments. Make your predictions. Boy or girl. Boy or girl. I'll let you know next week. Eric, what do you think it's going to be? I'm saying girl. Girl? Okay. Mm-hmm, girl. All right. We'll see who's. And what do you think, Mike? I'm going to go boy. Just to even it out. All right, twenty bucks. Whoever whoever loses has to buy the other a D Gen bunny. Deal. All right. Um, let's take a look at the charts real quick. What do you say? Charts. Uh oh. Why is it doing that? Weeble desktop update. Oh, I didn't see that. Here we are. Let's look at the daily chart. We're still stuck in the same kind of range, Mike. Um, We haven't gone anywhere. We've gone down, gone back up. We're just kind of stalled out in this pattern. Uh, If you look at the S&P 500, Uh, It's doing very poorly, and it has broken below this range that I drew. Um, But there's still a bottom that it hasn't hit at 360. Um, I think if we go below that, things are going to get pretty ugly. I think things are going to get pretty ugly regardless. Um, It just doesn't seem like there's any good news on the horizon. Um, I'm sure that they're going to raise the rates again and people are going to panic and we'll just keep going, trending down. Um, Not to be super negative, but that's just kind of how I see it happening. I hope I'm wrong. And Bitcoin kind of looks the same as Cardano. And Ethereum, Mike, we just saw had the merge and now they have staking that they can't unstake but uh what did that do to the price it tanked it so that's always fun um that makes me wonder if in the when we do the vasil hard fork if we're gonna get the same treatment where we just get tanked um we'll see what happens uh, what do you think, Mike? I think the same thing. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I think it's usually a sell the news type of an event, but I think also people with the Ethereum thing is they're starting to realize that they're not able to withdraw their ETH that they've been staking, and there's also like a queue, so it's like first in, first out. Like if you staked yesterday. It's going to be about two years before you can get your actual <laughs> ETH back. Yeah. And I think people are just becoming disenchanted with the whole thing. I think they lost their soul when they switched out a proof of work. I think a lot of people got burnt, um, especially if you invested a lot of money into like a GPU. And now you're like, where do I go now? Maybe I, I should check out Ergo. I don't know. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah. With Cardano, our update is more about the applications. So it's going to be interesting to see how that changes things. I think with our update, it's basically giving permission for like 30 companies to like release their app. And that should create some type of activity on chain. I think people like that. It's like, um, a new ecosystem building out. So you're going to see a lot of people from Ethereum come and try to test out the waters. It's going to be fun to see how many people we can attract. I've seen a lot of people on Twitter starting to, you know, follow me who are Ethereum people. So I think they're just getting more and more curious about this place. And 
you know, what's yeah. it all about. I think it's going to be a good yeah, thing. I mean, like, yeah, the yeah there's just going to be a lot more shit to do. I think that's what people want, right? Like, like when you yeah. come to this chain, it's like, it's cool to like buy and sell NFTs and do all that fun stuff. But it's like, what else can I do? Like, okay, I can swap in and out of these tokens. That's fun. But am I making money? And if there's no volatility, I think that um, it gets boring after a while because like you could buy a token, it moves maybe a percent today and, and then it's like, well, now what do I do? You know, there's a lot of degenerates who really like DeFi and you need to create yeah. DeFi games for them to stay interested, especially in this market. And the only thing that really does that is when you have a new application. So I think something like Ada Finance, Eric, I don't know if you want to dabble into that. It's pretty interesting. Um, yeah, they released, uh, they finally released their product um, where you can loan and you can borrow uh, different tokens. Um, I was playing around with it a little bit. Uh, it seems pretty cool. Um, people are using it already to, I think Cardano Whale said he loaned out like a bunch of uh a ada and the person instantly sh sold it off and shorted it um so those you know they're being shorted with their own uh tools so that's kind of interesting but uh if you wanted say you wanted a bunch of clay tokens or yummy tokens to do a raffle and see if you win um you know and you don't want to pay for it outright that would kind of be a a good use case for that i guess um have you played around with it at all mike uh no i really haven't um but i figured since we were young that we could do one together eric let's do it let's do it with your funds let's do it with my funds Let's have funds with it. <laughs> All Monopoly money anyway. <laughs> Cut that out. Okay, so can you see my screen? My screen. I can. Cool. Let's create a loan, right? Yeah. So. This is the amount you will receive from the lender. You must return the same loan amount before that loan term ends. So this is for what? You can choose a token that you want to loan from someone. Okay, what if I wanted to give out? What if I wanted... That's the ones that are out so here, I think. Yeah, you can match one of theirs. So... The loan is for one and a half thousand by five. The collateral will be in ADA, which is 1.85, at an interest rate of 2.24 for 60 days. So the health factor is basically the borrower might not return the loan and the collateral might not cover the loss. So basically, this is not a good loan, right? Right. You do not want a loan to this person. Whereas this one, 45,000 meld, the collateral of 4,500 ADA at 15%, that's a lot for a year. Interesting. My question though. Yeah. Why would you do this if you already have enough ADA like, on the to buy it outright? Is it just because so, you can sell it and right. you want the negative? Right. Because if you sell it in ADA... And then buy it back cheaper and return right, it. Right, because there's um, only so much on the market. So if, if somebody is holding that meld, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like held in two places. Does that make sense? 
No. No, I don't understand. What do you mean? What are you trying to say? Um, <laughs> I think what... So I think I understand now. But with the tokens, at least, if you want to buy, if you want to borrow 1.5 thousand Vi-Fi, um, and you don't already have it, you don't want to buy it and put, you know, upward pressure on the token. So you can buy it from them through this app, sell it. That'll put downward pressure on the token, and you're hoping that creates like a windfall, so you can buy the token back at a like half the price and return it to them. So that way you're you're just getting like you're getting it for half the price without. Gotcha. Instead of just like being patient and waiting, I guess. But it it's. Seems like a risky degen thing to do, but but the tokens the way they are right now, it's kind of smart almost. Yeah, because there's especially not if a lot there's like no farming. Mm -hmm. When it first came out, there was like lower priced ones. Yeah, and no, now these they're are all so like, expensive. Yeah, and I don't. I don't. <laughs> I was gonna do one, but I'm like, I don't want to lend my money out for a year. If you change the newest to oldest one, is there a different, or is that all that is out there right now? I think that's, this is it. Interesting, interesting. I mean, you could create one. This is dashboard. Also, this would be your, you know, you got going on, I guess. Staking. Governance. Can you go back to create a loan? I just want to see what the options are for tokens right now. Ada, A Ada, Mel, Dana, World Mobile Token, Wi Fi Liquid, MinSwap, Pavia, X Ray, and C Meta. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Uh, would you. Would you ever use this? I think so. Would you be more of a lender or a borrower? I'd like I to lend out lending. money because it'd be kind of nice to, you know, get some interest back. But the term of the, the length of these is so long that it kind of defeats yeah. the purpose. Like if I had a shit ton of ADA, yeah, I think it'd be cool because then I'm not, you know, worried about trying to make moves but this is for someone who with a like a longer term outlook like i'm a little bit more of a DJ. yeah <laughs> so i don't know if this is great for me yeah, give me personally. like 30 days give me like 30 minutes <laughs> then, i need 30 minute loans with a 200 percent interest rate right that then we talk then you're talking about language but this is a very cool app. Hopefully, you know, it matures and we get more and more yeah. loans. Um, the thing that's going to be cool about like that, like Vasil Hard Fork is we're going to get like liquid finance where they're doing the same type of thing. But instead of it being person to person, it's pools of cash. Yeah. So you're not hampered by that these. makes a little more sense. Yeah, because then you can come in and out of the shit. You know what I mean? Whereas now it's like, okay, I gotta wait 365 days. It's like, it's like we first got Muesli Swap, right? Where it was that order book where it's like, hey, I'm selling this token. Do you want to buy it? Yeah, I'll take it. Then we got Mint Swap and Sunday Swap where it was like pools of cash. And it's like, cool, I want this token. I don't have to find somebody who has the exact amount that I want, right? I could just yeah. buy as much as I want. And I think liquid finance is going to open up that to like a whole new level. And they get so much shit going on with like decentralization of the whole stack where it's going to be real interesting. You're going to get a lot of people, you know, a lot of different ways to make money with the protocol where it's like with Ada finance, it's like I can lend, I can put this one idea out of this one lending for this one token match. 
hopefully someone wants it you know where it's like yeah with liquid it, it opens up your matches a lot and then you're getting way like because like that market's really illiquid is basically what you're looking at right because it's like it's going to be very slow paced because it's one one of one you know matching and I think DeFi is really about just like having all these automated services where I can come, I could be like, let me lend out for, let me find a percentage I'm comfortable with. Boom, 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 boom. I'm done. Cool. Yeah. For both sides. Cause like, you don't want to just keep your money and tokens in like a smart contract waiting for someone to lend you something. Yeah. And I think it opens up a lot more use cases where you can borrow cash like whenever you want be like i need it for 30 minutes i need it for an hour it's like i don't care what you need it for the, the fact that you have that option is like i think it changes finance totally yeah like because you might be able to make a trade in there like you know something some events coming up you want an extra thousand ada okay let me borrow it for the, like an hour you know that sell the news event boom hopefully you, you win Mm -hmm. Then you return that thousand dollars back and you keep profit, you know? So that's the kind of shit that it opens up. Um, of course it could always go against you. This is not financial advice, but I think that type of those ideas, like that's when shit gets fun. You know what I mean? Yeah. And when you have like 30 more applications coming online in the next couple of months, that's when this becomes more of a casino, if you will. For better or for worse. Yeah. But definitely like the idea that like you can be able to like make some profit off of an idea. Like you see something happening. Something's coming online. You see a utility, a use case for a token. You're like, holy shit, like this clay token is going to pop off because they're starting to sell pants. You know, you can only use the clay token for that, those pants. Let me, you know, then you have a trade and I, you have a trade idea that comes along and you're like, I wish I had like a couple more thousand dollars. It's like, oh shit, let me borrow from the aid of finance or liquid finance. You make your trade, right. hopefully it works with you. Then all of a sudden, boom, you're living the good life, Eric, Zach and Cody. Now you got pants. Now you got pants. Everything's good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I love, I love seeing like new stuff drop and Hopefully we see a lot more in the next few weeks and months. Um, I saw that recently you discovered a new NFT, Mike, that I've been shilling for the for the past few weeks. And uh, I saw you FOMO'd into Dirtbirds. So uh, can you tell me what was the... Uh, the straw that broke the camel's Cat back. The catalyst. Yeah. It's just all the chatter on Twitter. I mean, the derp community is relentless. They are absolutely relentless. I mean, you, you know, you, you hashtag a derp bird or you, you at somebody in the derp bird, derp bird community and they just like get all of them. It. It's like you want like a hardcore community of people who like rep your shit. Like, the, Follow whatever the dirt birds are doing because they came out of nowhere on my radar. And I think they have a stronger community than like Chilled Kongs. Like, as much as yeah, I love Chilled Kongs. Pretty crazy. Um, and then they started going after people in like the Ethereum community. Like, I forgot his name, but he had like 50, over 50,000 followers. And he started buying dirt birds. <laughs> I FOMO'd in Eric. After I saw that, I was like, damn. That's, it. That's what it was, huh? Yeah. Farmer or something? Yeah. Farmer Nash. Yeah. Yeah. Once I saw that, I was like, oh, these guys aren't playing around. Like, whatever they got, I don't know what it is. They they got something. So I wanted to be a part of it. That also made me simultaneously buy more, not dirt birds, but the other ones for staking. So like uh, they have a discord where there's like a they send out a report every four hours 
and it shows you which are like the best per ADA like staking. Yeah. Um, and it, it's usually the derp apes. So I bought a couple of those. Um, I was going to buy another derp bird, but I was like, these things are way, way too high. Like right now it was like peaking. And I was like, if I buy this, I, I know it's going to go back down. Like I bought the, the fucking I'm... Pico top <laughs> of fucking Did you buy it? derp birds. 550? A 528. Uh, that's I think 550 was the, the peak. <laughs> I was like, fuck. Like, I bought it right before I went to bed. And then I woke up and it was like instantly like 100, ate it cheaper. I was like, fuck. And then it went down like another 100. I'm like, well, I should probably double down now and get another one just because, just to even it oh, out. Oh, you got you know another? I mean? I'm thinking about it. I got to like, uh, I want to like see what the hell this community is all about. It? You know? I was going to say, had you asked me before you derped in, I would have said to wait a couple of days. But um, almost I'm almost bullish. Like a motherfucker, dude. I know. Once you like, it's hard. Cause like, it never starts with one idea. It's like three ideas at a time. Where like three weeks ago, you told me about derpers. They were like two hundred ADA, and then all of a sudden another thing happens. Another catalyst happens, and then like sixteen things happen. And you're like. I gotta buy one of these fucking things. Like, I'm missing <laughs> the boat. And then, but it's funny. I think that's how I felt when I bought it. I was like, man, I fucking bought the peak, the top. I, I was like, I drank their Kool Aid and shit. Yeah. And now it's like double, you know, what it was at then. So it's like, I think long term, it's a pretty good NFT to have. I Just because so like the community is. So, so They're so into fucking it and... strong. They're so into it. Like I've been, this is one of been those one of those projects that have been fucking in the space for a while, and you've tried to brush it away and brush it away and brush it away. Because to be totally honest with you, I don't like the artwork. I think it's terrible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the, and they the know community that. is so fucking good. And also, like I haven't done this yet, and I would like to do this on air with you. But stake my dirt bird, Eric. Um, I think they must have somebody who writes Plutus code, right? Yeah, for sure. Because otherwise, it's like really hard to get a developer like M Labs or somebody to do it for you. Yeah, and they're they're actually redesigning their dirt birds because they're like we need better art. So oh, that's, that's kinda, awesome. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we can walk through the staking. All right. Have your discord ready. Cause you're going to need that. Well, I don't have discord. <laughs> well, I think you can link your wallet actually. We'll see. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're staking. So Mike, what you had to do was connect your wallet. And then he had to log out of his account, log back in, and then it showed up. So a little troubleshooting for you guys if you are trying to stake. Small map. Nothing crazy. Nothing um, crazy. So as you can see here, you can see all the traits that your guy has. Yes. Um, he's earning 7.9 derp tokens per epic and then if you so there's a bunch of different things you can different nfts you could stake you see there yeah. um derp leans, derp apes, they, preds derp eggs yeah derp egg shards so those all have different xp but if you go to explore take a look at that uh and if you if you're active on discord or you do different things in the in the website. Um, it'll give you, you know, different achievements, which is kind of fun. Um, so it's basically a video game. Yeah, That's and then if cool. you go to rewards. That's really cool, actually. I, I under, I'm starting to understand why this is a thing. Like, I don't think any other community does this. Yeah. 
So okay. and it's pretty well built. Yeah, really well built. So if you go to rewards, um, and you go to derp exchange, you won't have any. Oh, I guess you do. So you can. That's the amount you can redeem right now. And you have to pay five ADA to claim, so it's probably not worth it yet. But um, that's how you do that. And then click rewards again. And then go to raffles. So you can enter in these raffles with the derp tokens. And you have a chance of winning one of these oh, NFTs. Awesome. Yeah, so that's pretty badass. Uh, it's like a little lottery, you know? And that everyone's got a chance. Shit. I love it. <laughs> I love that. That's so great. And then special, I think there's like a a one of one or something. A uh, role in the animated series. I guess they're making an animated series. So if you want to do a, like a voice, I guess. It's pretty fun. How much? Cool. I guess those are done, but how much was it? Click on it. Uh, it doesn't tell you. So 987. I think they're usually like five derp. So it's 10 derp. So it's not that crazy. Like, no, not at all. Throw, throw your hat in the ring. Spend your derp on raffle entry. So does the derp that you buy, just so that stays on this website? So it's not like you can go to MinSwap and buy derp? No. Okay. You can get it on Muesli Swap. Really? But, yeah. So that's... I don't think it's really meant to leave the ecosystem, but it can because it's, you know, possible. So, so are they native? Some tokens? people are. I think they are. Okay. Like if you look on Muesli Swap, you'll see Derp token, and I think they're going sure for it's like. Legit? They're, it says verified. When I looked earlier, and we're looking at the wrong screen. If you have it. So you got to go to markets. What's it called? Derp. Derp. But you got to go to markets oh. and go to all markets. See, it's the top one. So this guy. Boom. Ooh, it's gone up since this morning. So if you're a whale, you could sell your derp tokens. I don't have enough where it would be worth it but it's kind of interesting though like to see you're really deciding the price on it on your own right i guess um so that's kind of cool so yeah i think it's like a pretty awesome what they have already is pretty awesome and they're continuing to build things and Go dirt birds, I say. Yeah, no, really awesome. We're gonna continue to watch this one. I think uh, it's very promising, and I'm just like sucked in. I, I want to play around with it. And I'll probably have to get yeah. some more derps, Eric. After this, I might have to as well. Um, an another thing you can do is like, if you have an OG dirt bird, and y you buy one of those eggs. You can combine them and make a pred. And those are worth like 300 ADA right now. So, but I don't know if it burns both of them. I think it might just burn the egg. Gotcha. But I haven't looked into it. Um, so, yeah. And there's all strategy Check out to this. So, certain eggs and certain preds are going to be worth a certain price. Yeah. And each one's diff different experience. Theories. Correct. So. I'm sure there's a chart of like what's the best thing to have. Right? Yeah. Um speaking of charts, Mike, there's an interesting chart I wanted to show you. Um this is gonna be our little ergo corner that I like to do lately. Um you know, we had the Ethereum merge recently. 
And um, after the merge, we saw the uh, the hash rate on Ergo went insane. The all time high before was like thirty five. Yeah. And right now it's at one hundred fifty nine. Terra hash. I mean, Terra hertz, I think. Um, it peaked at like 372. So, I mean, and by far they're getting like the most hash rate of any anyone else other than maybe like Ethereum Classic. Um, but the weird thing is like the price has not has not followed that at all. So... I don't know if it's just following Ethereum, but um, like after the merge, we saw this huge dump, and now we're down to like 430. So I don't know if it's just like whales manipulating the price, or if it's just like because the overall market is dumping I think it's or goes in dump. So I'm interested to see if it. If the miners who are like participating are gonna start getting on board with Ergo and pumping the bags, you know, like being part of the community more. And I'm interested to see like how it grows. Cause they have an incentive to like, you know, make it more of a big name. Right. Um and I'm sure it's a lot of people being thrust into the ecosystem. Another thing I thought was really yeah, crazy that's is like, like four times as much now. So you have to you have to feel like some of those people are going to become community members at some point. Yeah, and what was also interesting is like the merge happened, right? And then like the hash rate didn't come up until like the merge was already live for like half a day, so people really were waiting to the last minute to like switch over so it's kind of i thought they would have more of a plan you know right. but it's just like people are just they probably were like uh oh, what do i do now so i just think that's interesting too but um human nature yeah but uh, i'm gonna Nobody continue to we're all, we're all figuring the shit out by the <laughs> fucking yeah I think you realize that about everyone after a while. Uh, even our governments, they're just like, uh, let's try this. Let's keep the political stuff Sorry. out of this area. Of area. <laughs> um, but yeah, keep an eye out on Ergo uh, for, for the next few months. See what happens with it. With the markets the way they are, I don't know if anything's going to happen with anything. Um anything good anyway but but yeah i just wanted to show that real quick thought it was a nice piece of information it's a thing of beauty a thing of beauty mike um what'd you think of the merge was it was it uh anticlimactic yeah, I think so. I think the uh, you know the regular markets are just fucking everything over. Nothing cool is gonna happen for a while. Um, I'm more excited about the Vasil update than anything else. I, I think I think yeah. we already hashed on this oh, earlier, but I just think uh, people want to be degens and like. The best time to make really cool apps is when it's a bear market and nobody wants to spend their money because if you can find a thing that people are willing to spend money on in a bear market, those are your winners in the bowl. You know what I mean? Where it's like, I can't keep my hands off of this shit because it's just so interesting to play with. I think like that yeah. Dirt Birds app is like, that's really cool. And it's going to like yeah. tap into a certain type of person, especially like people who like video games a lot. That's really interesting because people love achievements. And so you have this list of things I need to accomplish. It's like, 
like what's a better time killer than that and then you could always like lie to yourself and be like well i'm making money too so <laughs> you know maybe not you yeah. might be i who knows what the derp token ends up being worth you know yeah it's one of those things i definitely I think, want to uh, look into because i think it could like have a lot of potential for being i mean we talked about this a long time ago a couple months ago about like our video game plays and each of those have their own token in their ecosystem but if you have a, a token like derp that's already has its own ecosystem built in and they made the utility first right before they did all the you know, fun stuff with the air, you know, airdrops and shit like you have with Maker and uh, Clay. Um, I don't think you have any of that with this dirt token, so it looks really promising. I see we got you back to dirt birds. I'm a degenerate, Eric. <laughs> um, I think people are starting to. I don't know if I'm just projecting, but people are starting to get bored of NFTs. Like they want, they want something more to yeah. do. Like you can only buy so many NFTs and like watch the price go up or down. And then like you, you want something more than that. So like Ada Ninjas and Derp, you know, they're doing like additional things and like delivering. And I think, those are the types of things that get people excited. Um, and then we'll have more things to play with, like on the DeFi side after the hard fork. So I think uh, even in a bear market, we'll start seeing maybe more adoption slowly, but people will like hear about a cool app that's only on Cardano and, you know, they'll want to check it out. I think that's Whereas like, NFTs, if you're already buying NFTs on Ethereum, like you're not just gonna move over because one, because this monkey looks kind of cool, you know? Right. I mean, that edge case has been like done. It's board apes. So yeah, your money's probably better spent trying to get one of those. However, if you're trying to get like a what is it like the ten thousand PFP project kind of a thing. It's been done, yeah. so it's like, what's next for NFTs? And I think a lot of it's going to be around making some type of game. Um, and the cool thing about this space is like, it's not run by big corporations, so people are going to take a lot of risks as far as like game mechanics go and try new shit yeah. out because there are no rules, so you kind of just... What are people into, you know? Like, what's going to get people to come into my ecosystem to pay for these NFTs and start to utilize the system? Like, this is kind of where this shit starts to get fun and weird. Where, like, yeah. basically it's, like, human ingenuity. Like, people who write code are making up these new games. And there are no rules. And, like, there's no bureaucracy in the way either so you don't have to label your game as rated g or rated pg-13 or you know what i mean like it could be fucked up and it could be weird and yeah you know because it's like this weird wild west it's we don't we don't like i'm sure the bureaucracy will come in like 10 years but for now it's like go get fucking weird you know do your you know weird e-girl shit or who knows? You know what I mean? It's just like yeah. someone's going to make a porn game. That's coming. Because As at the end I. of the day, it's like people are people are trying to uh, like, what are people into? They're like into sex. They're into food. They're eat eating. You know, they just Combined want their. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> that's what uh, that's it's just what what people are excited by. So. I think that's how you you're gonna bring attention to like, like Cardano is like people are just gonna try weird shit because it's like well if people aren't paying attention to us just because we're a, a 10k PFP project then I'm gonna have to do something different I'm gonna have to do something weird 
because there's yeah. money to be made here like people can make money doing this shit so it's like oh cool i just have to find a way to get attention on my project you know yeah it just takes time to figure out the different avenues to do it yeah and it takes time yeah it's uh, just like this shit's hard it's like you're you're yeah. writing code for this stuff and it's not easy but the people who win the people who make the the code that wins they're gonna be printing money you know what i mean yeah i mean yeah i hate to keep dwelling back on the dirt birds but to see <laughs> a project like that go from 200 to 500 in this market in a bear market i thought that was yeah, impossible that like, doesn't happen we've been watching these nfts slowly bleed for six months now I mean, almost a year. So they had under one percent listed. Yeah, it's crazy. The other day, like for ten thousand, like that's insane. Um, that's how like strong their community is. Right. Uh, but um, yeah, it's pretty. It's exciting times. I actually had an idea for a for an NFT, but I'm too stupid to like implement it. Yeah. So I'm just I'm gonna tell you about it. Otherwise it'll just get lost in my brain. So the idea, you know, have you ever heard of our place on Reddit? It's like no. where they like everyone on Reddit gets like a blank sheet of paper and everyone gets to put one pixel down. Why don't you but just like, show me? Alright. What is this? <laughs> a visual medium? But they only do it. They only do it uh, here. I'll show you the time lapse because that's cooler. Let's see here. So this is like millions of people all working together pixel by pixel to like create these images. Um, which is crazy because like everyone's teaming up to make these like flags and they have to work together to like create it. So my idea is basically you do a similar thing. Before, wait, stop, before you say that, you know yes. what this reminds me of is what? Like we've been fucking around with like the journey recently. It reminds me of AI art. The way it's like yeah. it's slowly like turning into different like, things. Has a life of its own. Yeah. I'm like, oh my god. The computers are taking <laughs> over. But go ahead. Um so yeah. So my idea is that you have like this NFT collection that's like ten NFTs, but the first one is just blank. And you can, you can draw like in a certain area and create whatever you want. And then, but well, you're only limited to that area, but then the next person buys it and it opens up like a different area and they can like collab with you and create a different like piece of art, but it's like, you're not drawing on their art. Gotcha. Like it gets to live on forever. Um, That'd be fun. It just reminds me of like in high school, me and my friends had a notebook and we would just, we would each draw like a, a weird thing and then pass it between classes. And by the end of the year, it was like this crazy, hilarious piece of art. I think, I think that'd be cool. That'd be so that's my, my NFT idea that I have no idea how to implement, but. Well, this is where it started, folks. So. <laughs> So give me royalties if you guys create that. But yeah, I think like that kind of thing is only possible in this space, you know? So. Yeah. No, I think that's a really cool idea. I think that'd be really badass. We should make it. All right. Cut this part out so Cut I can make it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah. Got anything else for us, Mike? I think that's going to do it for us this week, Eric. Got a big weekend. I'm excited about the Space Buds I just got. It's pretty sick. Um, we didn't talk about it at all. 
Yeah, I want to keep some mystery. Check out my Twitter at I am Illinois if you want to learn more. Um, check out his Twitter at Chilled Cardano. He just hit 500 followers. Good, good stuff, guys. We're we're building too, so we're keep building. watching and uh, wag me, guys. Wag me. Go Bears. Go Bears.